Okay. So now that we have uh, looked into the other uh, operating systems, uh, the trade-offs, the history and so on, um, this begs the question, why iOS development? The first and for foremost reason is create new or additional revenue. That's the money, right? The money. And how you do that is uh, there are three channels. One is your in-app purchases. So uh, even if, uh, you know, uh, if you have, uh, say, people who play certain games um, at home on their mobile phones, um, you would have come across uh, these situations wherein they reach a level and they can uh, purchase an extra cre credit or, you know, certain coins or um, to go to another level. So these are in-app purchases. So even if you uh, download a free app, uh, you can at any point in time um, at set levels introduce these uh, milestones where your uh, hopefully your users become so hooked onto your app that they don't mind shelling money for you. Now the second way is uh, custom B2B apps. So uh, these are basically business to business apps uh, and uh, through your uh, developer program, um, app developer program, you can provide tailored solutions directly to business customers and basically they get uh, enrolled in uh, a volume purchase program for business. That is the name of the program that Apple has provided. And uh, by virtue of this, what, what happens is they can, uh, can purchase apps in bulk and uh, uh, so you can, as an app developer, you can um, provide apps for different businesses. So that's a very good way of uh, getting additional revenue. And of course, iAd integration. This is the API for including ads in your app. So that comes in as a banner at the end of your app, at the end of the screen. And uh, so if the user clicks and, you know, you get a small percentage um, of, uh, you know, the revenue that the... Um, that the person who has hosted the ad gets. So that's a very nice uh, feature. So that's it. So why iOS development? Create new or additional revenue. Yes, and the second one is it's the world's most advanced mobile operating system and it has a very good hardware configuration. This is, this is almost a fact in the industry by now, yes. Android is giving it tough competition, but still, um, iPhone has been able to, I, sorry, iOS has been able to uh, maintain its um, position as the leader in the operating system market so far. Yeah, and along with iOS SDK, that is the software development kit and the Xcode ID, uh, both of these combine to make it very easy for developers to create revolutionary mobile apps. So when you download the ID, you get the SDK as part of it. And um, you get a lot of ready-made classes by which you can, you know, access a lot of features which are there on your devices. Like, for example, the touch ID, uh, the barometer. Uh, barometer is, it's like, you know, you can actually measure the pressure outside. And uh, say if you want to build a weather app or something like that, it's, uh, you can use these features. And with the SDK, you can access these uh, uh, device specific features. Now, three axis gyro. I, I hope you are familiar with uh, the accelerometer. Accelerometer is the one which, you know, detects uh, uh, motion. Uh, so when you tilt your, uh, when you move your iPhone uh, horizontally and vertically, the, um, you know, it shifts from landscape to portrait, right? So that is done by the accelerometer. And the three axis gyro takes it even one step further. Uh, I, um, if you have seen the unveiling of iPhone 4 videos which was presented by Steve Jobs himself, um, take a look at these videos and uh, you know there's a very nice video wherein he features, um, he uh, explains how this uh, gyroscope works. So it's got more precise and more highly sophisticated means of uh, motion detection, direction detection and um, it's, you know, when you're doing uh, apps um, which are very highly sophisticated, you can use these features and uh, give a wonderful experience to your users. So I, I recommend that you take a look at that and, uh, you know, it's, it's a very cool video. You should, uh, you will come to know um, 
it's I think that game is called as a gyro blocks game, and uh, so the um, the precision of the movements um, and so on. And of course, assisted GPS and uh, GLONASS. So these are the uh, navigation systems uh, for pinpointing your location and um, for navigation. So assisted uh, GPS, it uses both your satellites and your cell tower data. And uh, GLONASS is also, uh, you know, the, a similar uh, navigation system. It's just that it's used by Russian satellites. So iPhone, as, um, Apple was the first to use both the uh, AGPS and GLONASS. So that gives you more coverage and more uh, accuracy in pinpointing your location. So. so all these features come to you when you start developing on iOS development. Um, digital compass, Wi-Fi, cellular, iBeacon microlocation. iBeacon microlocation is again, uh, this is a feature which is used, uh, it uses uh, Bluetooth uh, low energy and uh, basically it's also used for location and for sending and receiving messages in, in, in close quarters. It's like um, I think, uh, I think uh, a few hundreds of feet. So same in, in, in shopping malls where you know you would like to uh, say there are uh, cases, case studies where apps have been used to say when the user comes in um, and he's standing near an aisle, he gets a notification on his iPhone uh, about a particular product which is on the shelf. So uh, and you know various features. So if he's interested in finding out more about it, uh, say discounts on it or offers on it or uh, say various, for example if it's a tile then uh, you know different colors so it comes automatically on your iPhone and how this communication happens is through the iBeacon microlocations so it's a very very cool feature and uh, its implications in uh, the app um, uh, the the business for apps is huge I mean it's it's just your imagination and uh, what um, you know if you have a pulse on the market what the user needs that's that's all you need to conceptualize these um, uh, apps and uh, the rest is there for you. The features are there in the devices and the SDK and the ID provides the means for you to access them and present them to the user. Very cool features. You also have NFC which is near field communication. It's like you know when you tap a device with the other device then it gets communicated. It's a very cool feature. So both iBeacon microlocation and NFC can be used for uh, near field communication. And of course, iBeacon, you do not need to touch like uh, NFC. So without even touching the two devices, uh, communication happens. So very cool features. Yes, and it is multi-user, it's localized. So you can, you know, present your user interface in different languages. And it has very mobile specific features to be enabled within your application. So it's really up to you how to visualize and conceptualize your app and uh, then come up uh, with the development. Yes, and the third most uh, reason is the powerful foundation framework. Uh, this is the core foundation framework which uses uh, which has a lot of classes in it and um, uh, the basically the um, user interface of iOS is streamlined to take maximum advantage of the iDevice hardware and um, uh, technologies such as you know BSD sockets for networking and inter-process communication the OS X kernel these are shared between iOS and the OS operating system. So um, that's how we can uh, build apps both for the App Store and the iTunes. And um, you can also use Objective-C and uh, C and C++ compilers for native performance. Yes, Coco Touch. Coco Touch is the iOS interface that was completely redesigned for multi-touch. So uh, when you say multi-touch, um, you have the rotate gestures, the pinch gestures. So you zoom in and zoom out a map using your uh, forefinger and your thumb. Uh, so all these gestures are, uh, you know, very um, 
nicely identified, captured by um, the IOS interface using Coco Touch. And um, buttons, table lists, page transitions, these are very unique for uh, the mobile form factor and these are very cool features. We will look into them when we start our, uh, you know, building our apps. Uh, but believe me, these are very, very cool features and um, it, like it's a known fact that the iOS uh, user, user uh, interface elements are some of the most uh, cutest uh, designed and, you know, they really um, uh, capture your imagination. And all this UI power is available to users, uh, to developers, sorry, through the Coco Touch frameworks. So if you see the architecture here on this mobile phone uh, uh, representation here, uh, at the bottom most see it's a hierarchical um, view of all the iOS technologies. Uh, the core OS uh, or the iOS kernel is at the bottom and uh, that is what does, uh, you know, it interfaces with this, uh, the, the hardware for IO read and write operations and on top of it are the core services uh, and on top of them as a media like for your audio, video, etc. And finally the topmost layer is Coco Touch and this layer is what has, uh, uh, you know, it responds to your multi-touch events, it has controls for multi-touch, accelerometer, the, the view hierarchy, localization, alerts, web view, people picker, image picker, the camera. So alerts are like, you know, if um, you need to communicate, for example, any validation or any kind of alert that you need to give to the user, it, it, it comes from here, from this layer, from the Coco Touch layer. And people picker, if you need to pick up um, people from an existing list, say in your contacts or uh, you know in your social media, it uses uh, the people picker. The image picker is either from your camera or from your photo library and so on and so forth. And yes, iOS development, uh, when, when you talk about Apple, graphics is never too far. And uh, in true typical Apple fashion, you get very good uh, 2D drawing and accelerated 3D rendering. So um, if you see some of the um, you know games or apps which have been developed on iPhone uh, for iPhone or the iOS uh, platform, um, say for example, um, say the DNA rendering of uh, the rendering of the DNA structure, it's beautifully done because of the powerful graphics engine that comes with this uh, platform, and you have direct access to uh, video playback and capture and using all these high level frameworks you can create gorgeous animations and transitions and that can build more sophistication in say say a game like Minecraft or you know um, something similar so uh, and the framework that uses uh, this is the AV framework, the audio video framework um, so these are very very powerful features 